Welcome back to Let's Play Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. I'm your host, VGM Koran. That was a screaming mummy or something in the background. There's a door to the left, our HP bar is very hurt, and we're gonna go get that sword. Now, as I said before, swords are kind of a giant deal to me. I, I need swords. If if there was... um, Wow, that was, that was actually a nice little wall run there, Prince. Um, I need swords. Like, swords are awesome. And I believe we're supposed to move this somewhere. I don't entirely know what I'm supposed to do with it, but... Hey! I think I see that glow you were talking about. Be careful. Be careful. Not on your life. Uh... Okay, I did make it. Alright, so... Oh, hey, there's a sand over there. Now, we are above the baths that gave us so much trouble. And we're apparently forgetting the basics of how... Or I'm forgetting the basics of how to play. As I um, said in the uh, comment of one video or another, I... Can he jump properly for a hundred dollars? He did it. And then failed. Uh, this might be one of those episodes, people. Um, part of the problem that I'm having here is that the keyboard doesn't exactly respond how you would think it would for pole fast travel. So you end up going where you don't want to go a lot of the time. But that's okay. I, I think I can make it to that pole over there. And also get some sands, which we need since apparently we can't make small jumps today. But that's okay, because soon we will have a sword. We could probably break that door. Oh, we are very close to the sword, in fact. Where did my other sword go? And on top of that, why did it make a thunk? On the bright side, we now can blow up doors with our sword. Oh, this is going to be a maximum HP fountain with lots of curtains with great physics that we're going to pick up. So here we are again at the fountain Fountain? Fountoom. Fountoom! Uh, at the fountain of increased HP and make the game stop screaming, Oh God, you're dying! at us. As always, the prince will explode. Wouldn't that be awesome if that's how drinking water worked? Shadaya? Is that, is that what I'm hearing? Eh. Anyways, that wall which we broke is now sealed. If that makes sense. It doesn't, but that's okay. And now we're back down. Oh, that was a nice little compliment. I'm not entirely sure how getting a sword that can break walls works. I mean, that doesn't seem like a logical improvement, but hey, as long as it does more damage to enemies, I'll be fine with it. And besides, it is a pretty new sword. It's all sword and stuff. No, no, it isn't. Thank you for noticing. Said this palace was built on the ruins of an even more ancient one. I thought that was just a story. Hey, dude, we put a palace in your palace, so you'd have another palace to travel through after you traveled through the first palace. Is that too old of a joke? Have I just revealed how old I am? Oh no. I should probably just... That's it! It'll never be good again. Um, okay, so we see this thing, which is pretty obvious in its use. You'll, you'll go where? Oh. Oh, there's a little hole for you to crawl in. Well, princess, I'm glad that you have a use. Alright, so now that we've got, um, now that we've got 
our block in place. We should be able to backflip jump, or maybe we can just jump to it. That is definitely not what we can do. Uh, I'm not entirely sure... Let's... That is a long jump that we did. You know, this block probably only served the purpose of um, getting it to where the princess... Apparently, I am just filled with wrong today. How awful. Alright. So, instead of doing any of those stupid things, we're going to run up the wall and wall jump a little and then get on this. And then... And then, I don't know. We're going to jump off of it because that seems like the wisest decision. It was almost a wise decision. It just wasn't quite. We're going to try going to the edge of the step instead, and then fling ourselves off a cliff. You'll hear a lot of screaming in this episode. I'm pretty sure of it. Now then, instead of doing either of those dumb things... <laughs> that's another dumb thing. So as it turns out, I was right the first time. You're supposed to put that in that conveniently little shaped hole, and then, um... Well, now what am I supposed to do? A uh, conveniently shaped hole, and then jump off of it. And now, um... I'm just gonna jump for it. That worked. This is one of the only times that we can say that worked. So obviously there's sand dripping off of that, so I expect it to break. Oh, it didn't break. I, I feel a little cheated, to be honest. Like, I was here expecting that I would um, have to do another little clever little section where, you know, all the platforms broke perfectly, but I didn't. Also, wall jumping, except this time the failure for wall jumping badly is death. Now, let's, for safety, just get up to the highest level. Stay there. I'll come down. How will you come down there, Prince? Just, how are you going to do it? Are you going to jump? Yeah, you're going to jump. <laughs> oh, I landed in the perfectly wrong spot. Let's try that again. Except aim it a little further over. So, that... Well, yes. Yes, there is. Um, that's interesting, because I feel like that fall would have killed me, but the prince grabbed the ledge with his fingertips. And then we got a lever. And we can keep turning it. Huh. I have a feeling that's going to come back later, because I could turn that ledge more. Okay, so it does seem like this added one effective damage to our combo. Because it used to take me three hits to kill those guys, it now takes two hits to kill them. So, one additional damage. And here is a movable block. I'm so excited for that crack. This doesn't seem like it's going to end well. Princess? Hello, princess. Here I am. Well, at least she opened up the platforms for us. Don't step off that switch. Once again, another excellently done platforming puzzle. That was just a lot of fun to play. I did make it. And we have our new sword, so I am infinitely sexier than I once was. And I'm looking up your skirt! It's a good day! Ah, <sighs> enemies. You know what that means. It's time to hit them. Oh, these are the blue enemies that you can't uh, jump over. I probably should have realized that a couple of seconds ago, but... But, you know, nothing says new sword like... Like wasting your sands. And your power tanks. 
and forgetting that you have to have everything filled to do your ultimate attack. Nothing says the prince like that. I am not entirely sure why you have to have all of your sand tanks filled. That's an odd one to me. And these guys, again, you cannot jump over them. So, the only thing you can really do is smack them. On the bright side, our sword of smacking plus one smacks one faster than our old sword, which only smacked a little. Now then, I've been knocked down, and knocked down again. And again. And again? No, not again. Quick, let's go save the princess while she looks at the fantastic architecture. I think these blue enemies have gone my award for having the my least favorite um least favorite enemy in the game. Not being able to jump over them is really just not fun. Oh, I'm dead. I should undead. No, no, no. But or not. We're fighting again. Who knew? Um, as you might notice from my power tanks, I did do the Mega Freeze move, as it the game has told me it is called. And there are still more enemies to be killed. Which, once again, illustrates the problem of this game. The combat. Um, if the platforming wasn't so good, I, and if I wasn't putting myself through this for you, I probably would have stopped playing this game by now just because of this combat. I might have kept playing for the platforming, it's hard to tell. Either way, the combat in this game with its bad sound effects and I'm not sure why everything sounds like wood. I want to know. But it just... I keep railing on it, but that's because it must be railed on. I've heard that Prince of Persia, the, um, the Warrior Within, the sequel to this game, massively improves the combat at the cost of making the prince a whiny bitch. Is that everyone? It is. Um, so I might end up picking up that game if it goes on Steam sale, because I have also not played it. Because, you know, not playing games I should. And here's a light of saving and telling us what the hell we should do. It looks like... Oh no. Oh no. Stop showing me only combat. Oh. Aww. Well, get ready to hear me complain my ass off. Uh, not really. I think I'm done talking about the combat unless it particularly offends me in a way that, you know, I would have to talk to a therapist, show him on a touch doll where the bad combat touched me. Oh, that kind of thing. On the bright side, water! Where we can just... No, Prince, you aren't done drinking. You're still thirsty. You will drink until I tell you to stop. Um, where is our switch for that door? It's not here. It's right there. Bye, princess. Just keep going on through without me. And a big old room with enemies. Isn't that great? And up top, we have a big room. Probably filled with enemies. And we got that guy. And that guy. And this guy. So you can probably tell what I'm going to at this point. I will be using Mega Freeze to try and kill our new enemy friend here, because why not? And he's dead. He probably has some interesting attack pattern that I should, you know fight and play against before I instantly just decide to cheese my way through the combat, but denied. And I'm not sure what's hurting the princess, but she's taking quite a bit of damage. Oh, that is a lot of enemies. Nope, not going to complain about the combat. I am having so much fun. Like, not being able to finish off enemies because of... Nope, not going to do it. So, what will we talk about instead? I had a soda today. It was wonderful. It, it was all, like, carbonated and stuff like that. I really wish you could jump over these guys. I, I just tried it there to see if the game felt 
like letting me. It didn't. These enemies are the guard happiest enemies in the game. Which I suppose makes sense since they are wielding guard happy weapons, I guess. I guess. Let's not die. Um. Apparently, we're going to die. Everything is dead. Well, except this guy. And the princess, who is almost dead, but not quite dead. On the bright side, we are now through the combat, which uh, was about 15, 20 enemies total. Just respawning, but again, we're not going to talk about that anymore. Just can't do it. Now, we already are a decent ways into this episode, but I feel like I should show you something other than me flailing my wooden sword around at things. On the other hand, that looks like a very long side. Well, wow. Well, let's try it, because why not? I'll stop the story from here. We're going to keep going. Because the prince is in a fetal position, but he's gotten back up. I don't want you to leave you on the end with combat. Who wants to leave the game off on combat? Does that count as complaining about it? Probably. No, I can't climb like you can. Yes, princess, I know I can't climb like you can, and that's why I'm climbing like this. To get away from you. I know it's sad, but it is also unfortunately true. Stop gasping. Um, I'm guessing that since she hasn't been captured yet, I will probably be keeping the princess around for the conceivable future. Um, that's okay, I guess. I, I will hold fast that I enjoyed the game a little bit more when I... when she wasn't around, when I was just by myself, and she wasn't going through holes all the time and yelling, here I am, because I don't care where she is, unfortunately for her. I just don't. I always expect these doors to be timed. <laughs> well then, I was right, just... Huh. There's a bridge. Now, wait. If I remember what they were saying, we were in the palace underneath the palace, right? So, did we go come back topside, or is this the old palace? I... and it's still outside, because that doesn't seem reasonable. And it looks like we have a couple different ways to go here. So we're gonna start with this way over here. Why are we gonna stay, start with this place over here, you ask? Because it looks like a dead end. Not that kind of dead end! Um, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get up any higher than that on this little platform. But, is there anything over here? No. Alright, see? That was worth it. And now we're back over here, where we're going to jump, and jump, and fall, and die. But, no. We're going to take back the jumping and dying part. Oh, apparently we're not going to take back the jumping and dying part. Um... This actually makes me curious if you can recover from a jump like that. You probably can. I would be surprised if you couldn't. Also, sometimes the game is very finicky with allowing me to turn around. So, I'm just gonna dance on this pole for a minute, apparently. Okay. Why are we out here in scenic view mode, you ask? Because that's the only way that the game would recognize that we want to turn around. But it's okay. We'll be back on our prince soon enough. Spinny Woods. Hello, Spinny Woods. It's been a long time, but you are still as terrifying as ever with your spinning and your wooding. And we're going to close back in so I can see what I'm doing. Now, I think the idea here is to follow these three Spinny Woods. Nope, nope, that wasn't the idea. So it's just timing puzzles. Just walk through, don't do anything stupid. You know, the bread and butter of what I do is stu stupid though, such as that. And that. You have to really be off of those things. 
And yes, that is a sand nearby that you can hear. Let's just go back before we impaled ourselves several times. If we can. <laughs> well, that was ineffective. Oh, wow. We did it properly. I think that's the first time we've ever done anything in this game just just plain right. Or I've ever done anything in this game just plain right. I'm going to stop saying we. Yes, Princess, I didn't figure you'd moved since you can't because you just aren't that useful. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone I said that. Uh, the friendly fire is really what drives me insane about Farah because otherwise she would just be kind of a nuisance that you have to take care of. But with friendly fire... The wall's opening. Oh, it's just a ladder. A ladder for her to climb and not do any real work. With the friendly fire on, it it makes you take damage when you weren't even expecting to take damage. That was a sultry don't mention it. Uh, obviously the prince is just thinking a little bit too much about how the princess is the only other person out there. And once the zoo. We'll need to cross that bridge. Now watch. That's a good Oh. She is useful though for just going to suggest that. Sure you were, Prince. Hey, you know it would be great not dying the next time we screw up a um, mission. Or anything like that, or puzzle. Okay, so obviously, we need to grab this. And the bridge goes down. You did it! But did we really? Now, how do we... Oh, right. We can just go back down here and use the ladder that we brought up for the princess for ourselves. Hopefully there will no be no enemies that have decided that they're going to kill us again. Now let's see if we can't find that door. You know, hang on. In an impressive display, I actually thought about what I was doing for once before I did it. And now we're going to come back through this hallway which leads us down to this little thing we can drop on. And, of course, that leads us to the bridge. And what a bridge it is. Filled with enemies. It's an enemy bridge. And I don't exactly have the HP to fight effectively, so... Let's just take out as many as we can with our superpower. Okay, I killed a lot of guys with that. I'm kind of sad that there's still more. On the bright side, that did probably take a few minutes out of this combat. <laughs> or we could die. Um, as you'll notice in combat, it seems like your rewind ability is kind of limited. You don't recover as fast as you otherwise would. Also worth noting is whenever you go into a close-up like that, the prince is immune from counterattacks. However, and this is a pretty big but, um, if he doesn't do a... How did that hit me? If he doesn't do a special um, animation for when he's going into Drain Sands, he will be vulnerable to counterattacks. Just something to keep in mind. Now, it looks like this is probably going to be our last guy. Which is good, because that means our whole amazing power saved us a lot of time. And a save point spawns in victory. See, I told you that we could make it without, you know, running on forever and ever and ever. But we can still explode in light. Oh no. I saw a chainsaw on the wall. It probably means that we're going to die. Or I'm going to die, and you're going to laugh. So we'll do that next time. Done. So in I'll that case, from here next time. I'll see you in the next one.